In this Photoshop tutorial, you'll, you'll learn how to use layer style effects to create an end table texture. You'll start out with a background layer and a wood base uh, layer. We'll make cutouts of the doors from the wood base layer and apply layer style effects like drop shadow, inner glow, and bevel and emboss. For the knobs on the doors, on the door we'll make uh, circular selections and and copy that from the wood base and paste it into the knobs layer. And then apply the layer effects, bevel and, and emboss, which is a pillow emboss. I'll show you how to make the uh, patterns for the door. For each door, I'll start with the left one that's already done, and we'll put it into a, a layer called the door pattern layer. But first, I'll show you the path I made using um, the pen tool, and using the convert point tool, you can uh, I'll zoom in. You can curve the segments. Right, right click the, uh, the path under the Paths tab and go to Make Selection. And we'll copy from the wood base. We'll select Inverse. and go to copy, go to a blank layer and paste and I'll show you that's what we copied and we'll delete part of it because there's uh, the left and right you merge those two down that's the pattern that we want Okay, we'll add a layer mask after we um, add the layer style effects, uh, bevel and emboss, inner glow, drop shadow, and that makes it stand out. We need a layer mask or it's going to overlap all the layers below that. So we'll go to pencil keep it on white and make sure you're on the layer mask and I already did the left side and I'm just going to do the right side to show you how, how it works okay I'll quickly show you how to uh, use the pen tool to make a rough outline of the of one of the handles and once you've done that go to convert tool and you can pull out the handles and you can curve the segments and I'll just give you a rough idea here and then we'd fill that in with uh, a bronze co orange color you can go to the Paths tab and right click and delete. Now the, la the last part is to add layer effects to the uh, handles. A bevel, bevel and emboss. And a drop shadow. That'll give a realistic 3D effect. Check my website out for the written tutorial. It'll have uh, a lot more details. Thank you.